why cells have to divide is to heal and repair, okay, damaged tissue. Grace? They need to replace dying cells. And dying cells. And some cells in your body do that just because that's part of their process. Like cells on your, the surface of your skin, the surface of your digestive tract, those cells constantly get like die and get sloughed off and have to be replaced all the time. Um, like blood cells too. So those kinds of things have to be replaced. Otherwise you'd wear down to nothing. Okay? So replace dead or dying cells, re heal and repair and just for basic body growth. Okay? So it tells us here that cell divides becomes two, then two divide and become four, four divide and become eight, and so on and so on. Um, what I have in yellow up here is comes from the sentence in your notes, I believe. So you your guided notes, does it start out many celled organisms, including you, grow because cell division increases the total number of cells in an organism? No. Nope. Let me look at my answer key. Typically, though, the first blank should be cell division. So if you haven't already in the first blank, do you have a first blank? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. It says cell division. I'm looking at this wrong. Increases the number of cells and causes many celled blank to grow. That blank is underlined in my notes. Um, so you put organisms in that blank. Can I please have you highlight cell division? Okay. Highlight cell division. All right, I'll discuss what's on the board here. These in the picture here are paramecia. These are protists. They're single-celled organisms. Okay? When they divide, are, they're really going through asexual reproduction. Um, so asexual reproduction for a single-celled organism is almost the same thing as cell division for a mini-celled or organism. So that's why in your notes here it says mini-celled organisms grow because cell division increases the total number of cells in an organism. When the paramecia divide, they're not growing, they're reproducing. All right, more information of why it's important, I think we discussed some of these. Even after growth stops, cell division is still important. Every day, billions of red blood cells in your body wear out and are replaced. So that's just, um, your blood gets renewed all the time. And during a few seconds, your bone marrow produced about 6 million red blood cells. So your red blood cells reproduce very quickly um, in your bone marrow. So inside of your bones is where new blood is produced. And cell division is important to one-celled organisms too because, like I just said, that's how they reproduce themselves. The cell cycle. Uh, a living organism has a life cycle. Um, this is a little bit out of order here, and we'll get back. Um, so this is actually B number one. So uh, number one after B. A life cycle begins with the organism's formation and is followed by a growth and development and finally ends in death. So for number one, put life cycle at the end of that sentence. So it says cells have periods of formation, growth and development, and death called life cycle. And we'll get back up to the other um, blank here. Um, individual cells also have life cycles. Um, so the, an organism has a life cycle and a cell has a life cycle. This, um, I guess I should show you, I don't have this functioning properly, but there's a picture of a, a cocoon. So we know the life cycle of a butterfly starts as a caterpillar, cocoon, and butterfly, right? So we're going to be talking about the life cycle of a cell, which we call, it's up here at the top of the, the slide here, the cell cycle. Okay. Okay, so the cell cycle, so for B it says the cell cycle, series of, event, of events that take place from one blank to another. Cell cycle is a series of events that takes place from one cell division to the next. So in that blank for letter B, put cell division. And then I would like you to highlight the cell cycle. So where it says the cell cycle, highlight that. Okay, in this picture here, it shows you what a cell cycle is. And I'll diagram it again on the next slide. 
The cell cycle is not the same rate for all cells. For instance, like your nerve cells don't reproduce. If you damage your nerve cell, it's, it's damaged and won't renew it, won't repair itself. So some cells will be in this first phase called interphase forever. Some of them, like your blood cells, will go through this cell cycle very quickly. So not all cells go through the cell cycle the same rate. Um, so if I know it's very difficult for you to see this, and if I blow it up, it's just going to get blurry. But these blue phases here for interphase, um, it says that there's three things that happen in interphase. And we'll get to them all in more detail pretty soon. But basically, the cell is just growing and functioning, doing its normal everyday cell stuff, and the organelles will duplicate. Because if you remember when we went on the board, I showed you a pro or telophase, it, new, two new cells will have half of everything. So the organelles have to duplicate so that it gets the rest of them. Um, DNA also gets copied and the chromosomes duplicate so that the new cell has all of everything. And then the cell is going to grow some more and just prepare for mitosis and interphase. Then mitosis is the division of the, remember from your guided reading? Nucleus, okay, and then the cytoplasm divides after that and then interface again. So there are some checkpoints along the way that the cell has to stop and like go through a checkpoint in order to keep going. Um, and sometimes they just stop and stay. Sometimes the checkpoints don't work and this keeps going and going and going when it, sh when it shouldn't. And that's what happens with cancer is that the checkpoint isn't quite working and it just keeps going and going and reproducing out of, out of uh, control. Blank spot somewhere in your notes and you were gonna copy um, this down here. So we start, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, find my pen here. Are we gonna write a lot? Do you want me to just write it and then you can copy when I'm done? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this cell cycle. Cause so the cell cycle starts with interphase. Okay, then it goes to mitosis. And how many stages are there in mitosis? Four. Four. Okay. So let me see if I can get all those on there. The first stage is prophase, metaphase, oops, I'm running out of room. You can spell out anaphase. So that's all part of mitosis. And then after that is a the cytokinesis, which is the cytoplasm division. Okay, so that's what you can um, copy there. Um, so it goes from interphase to mitosis to cytokinesis. Wait, just write it on the blank part of this. Wherever you, I don't care. Most of the life of a eukaryotic cell is actually just spent in interphase. That's the majority of the, of the cell cycle. And like I said before, some cells never get out of interphase. Um, so we're here for number two, interphase. Most of the life of any eukaryotic cell or cell with a nucleus is spent in a period of, and I have it underlined up there, growth and development called interphase. So put growth and development in those blanks. Your body that no longer divides, such as your nerve cells and your muscle cells are always an interface. Your muscle cells too, once, if they get um, damaged, they stay and they don't, they don't re reproduce or uh, repair themselves. Um, an actively dividing cell, such as your skin cell, will copy its DNA and prepare, prepare for cell division during interphase. So an interphase, um, there's several things going on, so it's just growth and development, but also another thing is duplicating DNA. So in, for number letter, little letter A, during interphase, a cell duplicates its DNA. 
and prepares for cell division. Okay, another thing it doesn't have on there is it's also duplicating the organelles because after mitosis, each new cell has half of everything. So it has to duplicate everything so the new cell has all of everything before it divides again. Can you imagine if it kept dividing and dividing without duplicating everything first? Then every new cell would have half of what its parent had until you finally have, like keep going and going and going, finally have almost next to nothing. Kind of the same reason we learned about a few weeks ago why the cells have to grow um, before they divide again. So they also have to uh, copy, make a copy of everything. Um, before a cell divides, a copy of the DNA must be made so that each new, each of the two new cells get a complete copy. Each cell needs a complete set of hereditary information to carry out life functions. How many chromosomes are in each cell? You remember from Tim and Moby? Was it 70? No. 46. 16. 46. Okay. So after mitosis, how many chromosomes does each one have? 23. Because it's actually, they have 23 pairs. Your, your chromosomes come in pairs. Um, so after mitosis, there's 23, but then during interphase, it copies it, so then there's 23 pairs. Okay, and I'll show you that later, probably tomorrow. After interphase, cell division begins. The nucleus divides, and then cytoplasm separates to form two new cells. So for little letter B, it says after interphase, the nucleus divides, and then the cytoplasm separates to form two new cells. So fill in that little letter B with cytoplasm. Um, and we called that, I don't know why that's listed here, because that says here after interface. We call that division of the cytoplasm something. You guys remember? The cytokinesis? Yeah. Yes, cytokinesis is what that really is. Okay. All right, so that's interface, growth and development, copying the DNA, copying the organelles. Mitosis is the process in which the nucleus divides to form two identical nuclei. So you have for big letter C, mitosis, the process in which the nucleus divides to form two identical nuclei goes in that blank. Nuclei is plural for nucleus. Please highlight mitosis. Each new nucleus is also identical to the original nucleus. Mitosis is described as a series of phases or steps. They are in order prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. In the margin somewhere, will you please write this acronym? PMAT. That's how I remember the phases in order. I remember PMAT. I was doing some research, I was doing some lesson planning in the library yesterday, and one place I saw they taught it as P on the mat to remember it. I just remember P mat. So prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Okay, and I think, let's take a look and...